Hello everyone, my name is Tito. My name is Tuffy. And I'm Kim. And we're going to be talking about Singapore's waste management. Because of Singapore's growing population, the amount of waste generated has been increasing. So, where's all the waste going? 61% of Singapore's waste is recycled, and the other 39% is incinerated. The incineration typically leads to increased carbon emissions. Recycling rates in Singapore are low. A lot of the recycling is exported to other countries. Singapore has only one landfill, and it's projected to reach mass capacity by 2035. Incinerated ash and non incinerable waste are sent to Singapore landfill. Singapore is renowned for its efficiency, cleanness, and countless innovations made in sustainable building design, or energy and water efficiency. Singapore is also aiming to become a zero waste nation. So, how did Singapore become a zero waste nation? In 1979, Singapore built its first incineration plant, adopting a waste to energy process, also known as WTE. It is the process of generating energy by incinerating waste. First, the truck brings in the trash, then it's weighed before being dumped out. After the waste is poured into a special bumper that prevents odors from escaping, then the waste is broken down and thrown into an incinerator. It releases steam which propels the turbine generators and creating electricity in the process. The smoke generated from the process will go through extensive filtration which removes toxic pollutants and finally is released to the atmosphere. Singapore is one of the cleanest countries in Asia, with more than 56,000 cleaners registered in the National Environment Agency. And we're ending our video here. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs>